So as we know, official support for the Microsoft Surface Duo is no more. That doesn't necessarily mean that our fun is over with this device. Thanks to the efforts of one man, we can now get Android 14 on the Surface Duo and the Surface Duo 2. So today, I'm going to take you through the steps to install Android 14 on your Surface Duo or Surface Duo 2. I'd like to first give a shout out to Ty Nguyen, who is the brains behind this entire project. He came up with a ROM for Android 13, which I installed on my Surface Duo to play around with, and then very, very shortly thereafter, came out with the ROM for Android 14. So thank you very much for your efforts, and I really appreciate it. Now, before I get into doing all of this, there are some prerequisites. There are some prerequisites. One, you need to download platform tools. I'll have a link in the description below. Two, you need to download the specific ROM file that Ty has uploaded to his GitHub. Again, link in the description below. And finally, just remember, this video is for educational purposes only. I am in no way responsible if you try these steps and you brick your Surface Duo. With all of that out of the way, I'm going to now walk you through all of the steps necessary to install Android 14 on your Surface Duo or Surface Duo 2. All right, so we have here a Surface Duo, and mine is already updated to the latest ROM, but we're going to go through it again so that I can show you what I did. You're going to come down into your settings, and you're going to go to About Device, and go to Build Number, and tap that five times to go to Developer Mode. Then you're going to go back to System, find your Developer Mode, and then you're going to go down and make sure that OEM unlocking is turned on and that USB debugging is turned on. Now what you're seeing on the screen is all the steps that we're going to have to go through to get this to work. It looks like a lot, but trust me, it's not. So step one is you'll download platform tools from this website here. You want to save the file somewhere easy to find. I left mine in my downloads, but you can put it on the desktop. It doesn't matter. You'll have to unzip the platform tools download so that you can put other things inside this folder. Next, you want to go over to Ty's GitHub page, which is going to be linked in the description below. And you want to make sure that you download the file ending in .img.xz. Once you've downloaded it, move it into the platform tools folder, and then you want to rename it. You can rename it something like system.img. In my case, I happen to change it to system14.img. And from there, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to take our USB. We're going to plug it into the phone. And since we've got developer options on, our USB debugging is already on. All right, so now that I've got my Windows situated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the folder for platform tools. And you can see here I've got system14.img. On my computer, I'm going to right click and open in terminal. Now your computer may be different and it may say open in command prompt, or it may say open in PowerShell if you have PowerShell. Now, as you can see here, I have PowerShell. Um, so some of my commands are going to be a bit different. Your commands might start with ADB, whereas mine will start with ADB like that. So with that in mind, we're going to go to our first step. Now we've copied and renamed our system image. And these are the commands that we're going to run to install the Android 14 pixel experience on your Surface Duo. The first step for me, and I'm just going to copy and paste all these is to run this command. This is going to reboot the device, and you'll see it here. It's going to reboot the device into fastboot mode. I have to run an extra command first on my command prompt that you should not have to do because I have a secondary camera set up to record this. 
and this is my Pixel 6a that I'm using. So ADB is going to recognize two devices connected. So the first thing I have to do is go ADB devices. So I'm going to type in ADB space S paste shell. Now I'm on the Surface Duo, so I can continue with these commands as normal. Our first command is just going to tell the device to reboot. So it looks like once I'm in the shell, that's how I do things. Now I think that these commands should be pretty normal after this. So we're going to try to do the first command exactly how I have it written in the notes. So we're going to delete the logical partition A, which worked just fine. The next step is to delete the logical partition B. Also worked just fine. And these are all in, I'm doing all these steps in real time so that you can see how fast this is going to take to do your device as well. Now we're deleting the logical partition product. So before we were deleting the system, now we're deleting the product. This is just getting everything ready for Ty's image. And we're going to be doing B next. Now, I could have easily hit the up key, gone from A to B, and that would have accomplished the same thing. Now, this part here, we're going to type in all of this. And this is just an example, path to extracted system. So in our case, the path to the extracted system is already there. So all I have to do is type in system. Go back here, tell it I want system 14, and hit enter. Now this part takes a couple of minutes. There are multiple steps to go through in order to install all of this on the device. I will leave this up in real time, and we'll see how long this actually takes. We're on step one now. And again, and as I said earlier, a huge shout out goes out to Ty Wynn. This man has been working tirelessly on, for at first, his System 13 image based off the Pixel ROM, and now the System 14 image based off the Pixel ROM. If you decide to do this, keep in mind that this is one, his experiment, and two, it is in it is an experiment that is a work in progress. There are things that do not work either at all or very well. I'll show you some of the issues that I've been having once the device powers back on. So we are 10 out of 13 steps done. Almost there. And again, this is in real time. Final step. And now that the image is loaded, all we have to do is copy and paste our last command. This fast boot command is just going to tell the phone, hey, it's time for you to reboot. Now, I do get some of these little error messages here. Uh, Array successful, but not automatically formatting. File system raw, not supported. Rebooting. So far, that hasn't caused me any problems. This is literally the third or fourth time I have flashed this ROM. Again, all of this is in real time. Now, you'll see here, this is a little off kilter, but that's okay because the screens will work just fine. Actually, the screens work better now than they did with the stock Surface ROM on it. And I'll go through the setup process just skipping everything that I can skip um, so that you can see what the interface will look like 
and some of the options. So we can cancel that because we don't need that to work. Now, as you can see, this says welcome to your Android, but the spinny background stuff looks just like the Pixel experience. I have switched over. But you can see flipping the screen over works really well. We're going to skip. We're going to set up offline. We're going to skip. More, skip, skip, accept. <laughs> We are, we'll just do zero, 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 zero. Now here's the first thing that I ran into, and I actually thought that the fingerprint sensor wasn't working. So if I touch the fingerprint sensor, you'll notice the graphics don't indicate that there's any progress being made. I do, however, feel a vibration. And I brought this up to Ty, and Ty was like, well, it... It is actually working for everybody, and you can see here it's working for me too. Um, the graphics just aren't updated properly. So again, this is not in any way, shape, or form what I would call a production version of this ROM, but as you can see here, we've got Android, and I'll show you. Android 14. Running on our Surface Duo. So you can come into the menu and you can go into your settings and if you'll look on this screen here you can actually drag down and you'll see the customized settings that Ty has put in there one thing that is not working for me right now is the OTA updater but you can come in here and disable your hinge gap enable split screen by swiping which are surface duo features which are in the works right now I think we're using the pixel launcher because it's the most stable of the launchers that Ty has gotten to work. And I have actually set this up previously from a backup of my Pixel, and it seems to function almost perfectly. Like I said, there's some little glitches here and there. Sometimes the launcher crashes, but for someone who wants to keep using the Surface Duo, this is fantastic news, and again, Ty, thank you very much. So this was just a very, very brief video to show you how you can install the Android 14 ROM that Ty Wynn has created for your Surface Duo or Surface Duo 2. Once you've installed the ROM, you're free to set the device up exactly how you want to set it up. You can restore it from a backup. You can use the cable. You can use Google to pull down all your software. However, before you do this, know a couple of things. Installing this will wipe out whatever is on your device. So make sure you backup appropriately first. Also, this is an experiment. This is not in any way a production ROM. I would highly suggest that if you're interested in doing this, you follow Ty on Twitter so that you can follow along with his progress. I do, and it's a lot of fun seeing how much progress he can make on a day-to-day -day basis. As always, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. My name is Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.